All right, folks, we're back out here again, working on the trailer. You can see I uh, took some time and I cut this piece to the right length here. I need to do some grinding on these. You'll see here, grind here, and then do some grinding on that to get them, bring them back, because when they go up against here, I went the edges up here, which is the top, as you can see right there, to mesh tightly together so I can run a bead of weld across there. And then I'm gonna come underneath and run a bead of weld underneath it all the way across, weld these ends, weld this all the way onto here the way it should be, and set that completely up so it lines up with this nice and evenly. Weld it across the top here, weld it down the side in there, and put a good bead of weld below the bottom here, tightly, so all the way across the bottom. Then it come out, run into two posts that come up off of there as temporary supports, because I'm gonna cut this back off here, uh, right at that point, and come up to this point, and I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna reinforce that and make that an angle, take this floor out, so that I have a departure angle that's much, that's much steeper here. It'll come up off of here and go up to there like that. So that, my departure angle will change drastically by taking that back section off. Then I've got the timberings going on underneath here. I've ordered enough of this 4x2 stock to reinforce underneath, across, all the way to the back. I'll have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, one here, one here, one across the back there, one across the top at the angles. Uh, and this four by two will run the entire length. So that way I can I can secure it. It'll give me four inches of space down here. And I'm going to take the center section of this, and I'm putting my water tank in there. So I'm going to put four inches of of blowing foam in there. The plywood on top of it, the water tank on top of that. I may take this and notch out two inches like that in the cross sections back here. So I get two more inches down there and I'll put a piece of uh, one and a half by one and a half in the center of it, weld it in and just uh, secure that, tighten it up. And then I'm gonna put it across here and then I'll be able to put the water tank, you know, right in here. That way the guy's driving by. And, uh, I'll put the water tank right in here in the center. It'll be a, uh, 45 gallon water tank and sliding in and out of here at this height will be my barbecue and my Dometic fridge. I've got the uh, the 55 or the 75 fridge with the freezer and the fridge that's going to go in there and the barbecue is going to go that side and they will slide out. I'll have essentially an area right here with the barbecue and the fridge. And then I'm going to do a, a higher up slide out right here, which is going to slide out. It's going to have sink, uh, sink here, stove here, scottle here. So I have my sink, stove, and scottle right coming out on this side. So it'll create, it'll create a U shape. And I'm going to turn this this into a shelf from right where the door is, which will be right here, from essentially here to right about there where the slide out comes out uh, then this area will come out here and up out here about like that and up like this which will be the slide out area and my seat can go underneath there and my head will go down here and I'll have enough room when I add it all up for me to sleep comfortably and still have the slide out in front and slide out and back for the total u-shaped kitchen so that's where I'm at right now. I'm uh, trying to get this up on top. Doing this yourself is tough, as I'm sure you can imagine. But uh, I'll get this set up on top. I've got to get some more C clamps uh, that are long enough for me to actually get underneath here and clamp for the back side. I have to be able to do what I did with that one over there, which is go all the way from the top to the bottom. And I have more clamps that are just not here at this location. I have to go to my other location and get them. Then I can clamp this on, take it next door over there in that beige building, and we can weld it up on the top there. I will temporarily tack two legs here, just to tack on both sides, so it's not gonna fall off. And then I'm waiting for my steel to come in, which should be three or four days, I would guess. And, or my aluminum, and then as soon as that comes in, then I can get underneath here and finish this frame all the way to the back on both sides. Put my cross members in, build my angle up here, build my top piece here. And once I have that solidified and where it needs to be, 
then I can start finishing up the walls, finishing up all the aluminum struts in here that I'm putting in. Uh, I'm going to probably put a battery box up in here. I may actually build this slide in a way that it comes out, comes up over and out here a little bit so I get a little more room and just have it overhang here. It's not gonna hurt anything. And I can slide it and that gives me more room from here to here for a door. So that's all things I'm gonna look at in the next few days. I'm gonna design it, draw it up, take some measurements, in which case this would be cut somewhere around here and there'd be a build a box and this would sit on top of a box. But I also got this cut off over here, which I'll show you. I got, these are up high. I cut this one off and I'm going to set my tent in a position where it comes from about here to about here, allowing most of the weight to be in front of the axle, not behind it, because I don't want this thing to get too ass end heavy and then be uncontrollable on the freeway. So, and that would give me room up in front up there to put a, uh, to put a, a fan and I can also have two small areas. Maybe I could put uh, a couple of Rotopack gas cans up there or whatever I want to do. I can take this and I can run it across and make myself a thing right there and make a basket up here for uh, things to go in. So that's the game plan as of right now. So I'll pick you some more a little bit later when I get to it and we'll go from there. Have a great night.